I, now I call upon Dr. Navin Thakkar for to present his interesting case about distal femur fracture. So it's uh, just uh, reiterating what we have uh, gone, but I tried to make it a little bit brainstorming so that we can go for. This is the common problem that gradually it heals, but it heals, it heals in the varus with the only uh, the lateral support many times. This, this is the problem which we have discussing. And we are discussing about the length of the plate also, uh, right? So I want to show one example where previously the, you, do you think the plate length was okay? Previously the plate length was okay? It was a short plate. And even the screws very close to the fracture side. Probably. Right. It's making two rigid. Screw right, plate right, density right. also. Ah, yes. <laughs> right, right, right. Now, now, now I will ask, is it okay? Uh, the screws near the fracture side, otherwise the length is okay. Length is okay. Uh, you can put, uh, fracture side ke pass screws. Kaun sa, sir? Yeah, yeah, those, those two screws. So you will not put that screw? See, there is a, there is a comminution here. So the opposite cortex, integrity of the opposite cortex is not there. Right. And this is a tension band almost. Right. So integrity is necessary. So you have to put a plate on the medial side. So that yes, exactly. I would have never done a plate in this. It's a, it's a perfect case for plating. Plating with a, uh, sorry, a nailing with a plating. Yeah. But it has a combination here also. Oh, that's fine. That's okay. Fine. Okay. So thing is, we are asking for the long plate. Long plate will work. That was the concept uh, with the combinator fracture also previously. There are three three issues. There are not too many screws. Navin, there are three problems. What? This is a, a probably a C1 or C2 type of fracture. Right. It is an intraarticular fracture. Right. Right. There right. is no latch screw initially. It has not right. been done the interfragmentary right. compression. So there will be problem in that area. That area also. Number one. Number two. You have used all the uh, non-locking screws or these are locking screws. Because the nearest to the fracture side, that is non-locking screw. That is a non-locking screw. That yeah. means you have brought the plate to the bone. So that means the plate will. No, no. There the is a space. Bone. There is a enough space between the plate and the bone. No, there is There's no space. space. Once you use a non-locking screw, that means it has it's, to be. It's a low contact plate. No, low contact. Even then, if you bring it to the, that is not a locking plate. It's a locking plate. So locking plate. If you bring it to the bone, the distal femur will go into the valgus deformity. Yes. So again, the medial gap will increase. Okay. Fine. Right? And the screw density is also too much. Okay. Okay. So you need to have more than three centimeters of medial void, which is causing for a trouble. Right. Right. So absolutely. Absolutely right. So it goes on the healing. Yes. Okay. Kya karna chahiye tha? So put a lateral plate. Have only two screws in the distal portion of the plate. Two screws, anterior most, posterior most in the holes, right. so that there is a space for putting a nail right. in future. Yeah. Yeah. Those two screws will compress the intraarticular part. So surgeon was not knowing this instability. Yes. Surgeon thought that I am giving the stability with this implant only. That's number one. Number two is those three screws should have been out. So if that surgeon wanted to bring in the shaft closer, put in those, but remove it at the end of the operation. Fine. Fine. Lovely. Yes, sir. So communicated fracture there is a distinction which you have to make of a big long pieces of bone and a crushed bone crushed, yeah. in a elderly people they get crushed bone and that gives you instability and it also doesn't heal up yes but if it is a long few bones into the into the younger people you do this plating and except those two screws you take it out it's very likely it yes. is almost very likely to heal up but that crushed bone it will need a support bone grafting structural and graft and bone graft and everything yes sir that was the message. Yes, sir. See, look here. At four weeks, there is a valgus deformity at the knee. Yes. And nature has corrected the valgus deformity. Yes, yes. And that instability is taken care of by the nature. But that, there was an instability that was not known on the table. Previously, we, when we were operating with the only lateral plate. But the valgus has operated at the shaft now. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Which is, I think, if it is a forest plate, generally it doesn't bend. It doesn't bend. 
it breaks. First, but first it bends and then breaks. If it doesn't unite, it breaks. It is united so it is not broken here. That is the situation. What do you do now at 16 weeks? Surgeon has put the plate with a short plate. Sir, 16 well, weeks it is presented to you. Yeah, I think uh, the uh, distal Young bone, it is not a crumpled bone here. The distal fragment is in valgus. Yeah, 100%. And uh, the uh, comminution uh, is uh, not taken care of by uh, you know, the medial support. Plus the density of screws is uh, very high. So what will you do now, sir? Ideally, it should be revised. You will change the plate. Yeah. The you will change the plate. plate. Put a longer plate. No screws near the fracture site. Correct the valgus. And... Uh, Put a medial plate also. You will change the plate even if it is a stable? Yes. Okay. Fine. So here in this pre-operative… You will do a long plate. So yes. now you will change to the long plate from the small plate. What we have done is just a fibular graft and a small plate. Even a small plate will do. That is the area where there is the slightest instability which can be taken care by the plate. The size of the plate, length of the plate may not matter exactly where you put, that is the more important, I think. You haven't corrected the deformity. You correct. There was a valgus deformity. Yes, slightly valgus was there, sir. Almost corrected with the medial support, sir. So, sir, I am showing, I am showing, I am showing, I am showing. No, no, don't, uh, don't uh, give some wrong messages that the short plate will help. Short plate will not help. Huh. It was so, requiring the stability that has been added and that has worked. The cyclical loading which is a cause of failure on the medial side. So cyclical loading with a short plate is not going to be prevented. One or two cases lucky, that doesn't mean that we should. So yeah, we have absolutely. to use the long plate. Sunil, Sunil, for this case, Dr. Naveen, can you go to immediate post-op? Yes, so there, yes, there yes. Is sir. A problem you got a chance. Time. You yes. got a chance to correct the deformity. Yes, sir. I yes, feel sir. it is a sin to have not corrected. Yes, sir. So if you go to the pre-op image, yes, one slide yes. before. So, no, no. This was this was the last. So no, previous one. Previous okay. one. Yeah. yeah. So here, what has happened is that the lateral condyle is shortened and the length is also shortened. Yes. So that has resulted into valgus because we have uh, elevated that lateral condyle up. So, that is resulted into valgus. Yes. Okay. So, lateral so condyle is also it, shortened and it, elevated. It, previous, it was fixed previously in the valgus, just added the stability. And this is a function. At least correct the valgus after the fracture helps. Yeah. <laughs> this valgus, Varas, you are talking about is all taken care by the nail. Yes. It's an excellent implant, instead of the plate you can do a nail. Yes, no, but no. you have to add the plate Not also necessarily. in such cases. Another, the long plate, but still it has failed, failing. What will you do? So, plate is long. Surgeon has a put a graft here. Yeah. So Primarily that, eh? is a graft, yeah. Achha. But still it is failing. Spacing is yeah. good yeah. for the plate. Gurus. Spacing is okay. Varas is, uh, yeah. no, no, previously, you this, is a, this is the follow-up X-ray. Uh, previous X-ray was fantastic with the good fixation, no varus valgus, and a good some, fixation. Some medial right. medial uh, support, probably a uh, ender's nail or uh, plate on the medial side. So there was the instability from the beginning, which was not known on the table. That plus, is the question mark. Plus, there is a problem that the condyles are uh, in a flex position. Hmm? Oh, it's a view is like that, sir. Most important is the last screw must be parallel to the knee yes, joint. Yes, yes, yes. That screw. Absolutely All right. those screws must be parallel to the knee joint. Yes. So ultimately it failed and it is broken. <laughs> it was removed, the plate was broken and again fibula and a small plate. And here varus was corrected. Right, sir? <laughs> that I was doing in other place, some other surgeon's place, so I had no liberty to do everything, sir. <laughs> I don't think uh, uh, fibular graft is necessary in this case. Fibular graft is necessary, sir. Uh, so no, uh, it is on the lateral side. It is intramedullary, sir. Just I have shown as a picture, uh, the color picture is there, different no, put no, on no, extra. No, yeah. I, what is required is stability. And it's required is stability, but the structural graft was 
but it was 12 months. If you are doing a medial plating and also the structural fibula, I think it's an overkill. You don't need it. You are right. Absolutely. And today I think I am fully convinced the allograft does exactly the same right, thing sir. what the, what the right, autograft right, does. Sir, it. Right, sir, right, I, sir. Almost I can just say for last few years about I have stopped doing an autograft if a big graph is needed. If it's a small graph, there is no issue about it. What, will happen? Fibula, this will, what yeah. will happen? Follow up X-ray. This will heal uh, because fibular strut actually is acting like an intramedullary nail. Yes. That's so correct. if you would not have put that plate, <laughs> if you would not have put the plate, it, sh it should work anyways he now. Has two plates and one nail. Will it, will it work or once, not? Once you, have, you, you have a broken plate, why don't you put a nail intramedullary? I don't understand. Intramedullary nail. Anyway, you can go ahead. Naveen bhai. No, no, no. With a plate. With a plate. Yeah, definitely. So, don't get married with one implant only, sir. You want to comment? Naveen is now becoming like Bukhi. Sab me andar. Nail, nail, nail. If your plate has failed, it has broken. Why not put a nail in the plate? I am saying it in a light color. Yeah, I know. Naveen bhai, there is at least 20 degree of hyperextension type of thing on our first field. Yes, yes. You are right. You can't just leave it. Yes. So, absolute stability will be offered by how, how will you get the absolute stability in this metaphysical region? You cannot compress here, sir. Okay, Naveen. Compress. How will you compress? You, you mean compression? Stability. Stability is equal. Stability has come with the graft and all. Now it is consolidating. And these are the incisions. Last two minutes, Dr. Naveen. One, only last slides. Healing, bata hai na, sir. X-ray nahi dekha apne. Are nahi dekha. Are nahi dekha apne. United. This is the follow-up, last follow-up. So what made it feel, Naveen? Stability. So it was the last chance, sir. It was operated case, last chance. It has to be done all. It was a medical legal case. The previous surgeon was sued already. <laughs> previous surgeon was sued already. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Naveen.